heard Hassan Reddick. I heard Boo Hoos. I saw that. I don't know if he's talking. I don't know who he's talking to. The Boo Hoos and all of that. But I do want to ask you. Um, and here was the quote: "Talk is cheap. They get to come back into the link. It was a lot of boo hoos last year. A lot of crying. A lot of what ifs. A lot of this. A lot of that. They get a chance to come back in here, line that shit up, and prove it again. So, I mean, boo hoos, Debo. Hey man, we'll catch you on Sunday. Is this one of those? Is this honestly? Is this one of those where you you see Shanahan and you say, "Yo, give me a chance to chip number seven on this next play"? No, I don't, I don't play that type of game. You don't want you don't whatever. want to block Hassan. No, nah, whatever. I mean, I don't. I, whatever Cal asks me to do, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna go to him and be like, "Yo, let me chip this guy," or anything like that. Nah. I feel like you asked for the ball, though. This isn't one of those where you're like, "Hey, hey." I'm I not a guy that go in there. I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a guy that go in there and ask for the ball either. Like, I think yeah. Cal knows he's pushing the hell, and he knows you know what all his players are capable of, and he do a great job of sharing the ball around. Yeah, I wonder who Micah Parsons is rooting for in this game. <laughs> He's probably rooting. He's probably he's probably rooting for us. You and then think? We'll, be rooting, we'll probably be rooting for them. You know, because uh, either either you know everybody is fighting for you know the 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 first buy in in the playoffs. So I mean, at the end of the day, like you know, they're sitting at ten and one, and I would assume they're cheering for us because I think you know uh, we'll probably be cheering for them if you know if all things go the way it's supposed to go. Where's Brock in your your personal MVP conversation? Man, my boy number one right now. It ain't up for debate. I mean, there's a lot of Tyshawn goes, mm hmm, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one. Well, can I hear the argument for for Brock? What's the case for Brock to be the MVP? Um. You know, he's just got to keep stacking games, stacking days, stacking weeks. So we got to go out here and continue to make plays for him. And I think he'll get the job done for us in the MVP conversation. But I don't think that's his ideal goal of for us, you know, um, something that he really, really want to accomplish right now. I think at the end of the day, as a whole, as a group, as a, you know, as a team, we want to be standing there, standing there at the end of the year holding the Lombardi trophy. You lead the league with an average, I said, is 9.74 yard, yards after the catch for reception. That is that is like a, you pick up an extra first down every yak. Like, it's unbelievable. And it was on display fully on Sunday. I ain't looking at nothing but white jerseys and running over every single block. I think it was just blocked up well. Um, and here come my guy, B.A. Um, we in the huddle. I actually, <laughs> I actually say, hey, B.A., man, just meet me in the end zone. And then I, I called the ball and see number white jerseys and just, as you see, just running off every single block and just, I didn't have to do too much. Debo, why does it look like everyone's wearing ankle weights out there and you're just like running freely? Why does it look like that? <laughs> I have no idea. I think, I'm, I think I'm a little faster than what people think. I mean, clearly. Uh, okay, I, I need more. Show us another one. Show, uh, show us another one. Let's go to the fourth quarter screen. No, this is the third quarter, okay. Um, we actually run this play a lot. And as you can see, like, George blocks three people, but people are only going to account for two. Um, he came around the edge and, and bluffed Hassan, and then he blocked the corner and then blocked the safety as well. Um, so, I mean, didn't have to do too much here, but kind of outrun the guys and just get in the end zone. You know what, what's, what always blows me away and I don't think gets enough credit? It blows me away how well y'all block downfield. Whoever doesn't have the ball is just busting their, I won't say it because, you know, doing, Juwan yeah, Johnson, George Kittle. Everyone's Jennings. so every, Jen, everyone's so bought in. And I'm not going to talk about the Eagles. You don't see that on every team. It's just the standard. Um, once I got here my rookie year and how how big it was as far as blocking in the run game and blocking the outfield once your guys got the ball, it's just the culture that Kyle and John and all those guys build here and they bring in the players in that like to do that and like to win. All right, we want to show the last touchdown. We can't just do two of three. So dial up, guys, the last touchdown. Talk me through this one. Yeah. Um, oh, shake, shake. Five Five yard under route, and the guy just tried to arm tackle, and it was just off to the races then. Well, just bringing Debo to say hi. I mean, you, I would like to see Gronk in that offense, we'll run a little 11 out there. Debo can be used all over the field. Debo, what do you think? Gronk on the Niners? Rob, what it do, man? Yo, what it do? I mean, George Kittle would be the best compliment tight end in the NFL to my game right now. We would compliment each other. So, George and I, <laughs> we would have you out wide, Debo. We would have Ayuk. I 
on the other side to the left with Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. I mean, it'd be 12 personnel. We wouldn't come off the field that that offense right there. We would dominate <laughs> like you no know, one. We, we would have to dominate. Speed. We got to put some speed at F at some point, don't we? The speed where? At, we at, put at the speed. <laughs> That's George Kittle. He'll play the F. He's got some speed. We'll talk to we'll talk to Debo after this. We have a lot to talk about. Don't worry, Debo. We already covered the Micah Parsons tweets. Gronk Gronk already let him have it. It's fine. <laughs> no, you guys still have real estate in his brain. That's pretty impressive. That's how bad you guys look. <laughs> we'll be no, back Debo. after this. Debo's Debo's pretending he can't hear us. We'll be back after this. 